So I recently got this oscilloscope trying to just test it on things and figure it out. I figured I'd test a battery first, just see if it actually gets 1.5 volts, which it's actually like 1.6, 1.66. So I tested it, you know, negative to positive, then flipped it around and just trying it out the other way. Uh, I got a little bit different voltage, 1.64. Then I figured uh, I'll try it with the multimeter just to see if it's the same thing. And 1.6, I mean, it should be the same. And, it is, so it works out really good with that. Here's an RC car motor. It's about 20 years old that I had lying around. I hook up my drill, running at full speed, which is 2,000 RPMs according to the drill. On the screen, we can see it's 96 hertz with uh, output of 612 millivolts. And there's three separate segments or signals from the motor. So if I just want to verify speed or whatever, that take 96 hertz times 60 seconds per minute, I get 5,760, I'm calling it pulses per minute, um, makes sense I guess, divided by three poles, and that gives me 1,920 RPMs, which is what the drill, close to what the drill said it should be doing, so that should be right. So I decided to hook a diode up to the motor, thinking, oh, all of the voltage is going negative, some of the voltage is going negative, I'll smooth it out. Gonna get the exact same waveform. And if you can see on the screen of the oscilloscope, the little T to the bottom left, that's where the zero is. So my voltage is never going below zero. Each line is 100 millivolts. And so it's showing that I am maxing out around 400 and I guess what is it, like 430 millivolts and minimums around 200 millivolts. So I just misread the oscilloscope and tried a diode. And to my surprise, absolutely nothing happened except. A little bit less current or sorry voltage 430 versus 460 or whatever it was and then i flipped the diode around to say well maybe i had it on backwards but actually it kind of started doing what it's supposed to do so the whole purpose of this video is just me kind of taking notes about what i'm trying to do i want to make a generator uh, so i'm just trying to figure out learn as i go and just really get a grasp on what's going on. I know theoretically what's going on in design and whatnot, but it's just different to actually touch things and have things move and then look at things on the screen and, you know, just just watch it. It's kind of cool, really. But uh, I guess I'll just keep doing this kind of thing. Bye.